Hi guys, welcome to Brains on the Beat. If you're new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're only but goody, thank you for staying tuned to your girl. So in today's video, I want to talk about the Jamaican student pilot that was killed and then the criminal burial site that they found. So let's get straight into these stories. It says a Jamaican student pilot was killed when a small plane crashed Tuesday morning in Miramar. A flight instructor was also hospitalized with serious injuries, authorities said. The Jamaican student pilot, 25-year-old Mark Daniel Scott, resided in Miramar. The instructor, who has not yet been identified, was taken to Memorial Regional Hospital with serious injuries. They were the only occupants on the plane. A Piper PA-34 registered to Wayne man aviation flight school crashed on the south side of Penbrook Road near the corner of Hiatus Road shortly before 9 a.m. and then burst into flames. Eddie Loy, vice president of Wayman Aviation Academy, told the media that Scott was an advanced student nearly done with his training. Wow, that's so sad. The training is all about emergency operations. Lou was quoted as saying in a news report, it's about what happens in the case of this and in the case of that, and they seem to have followed those procedures just fine, but the timing was not right for them. So he's, he lost his life preparing to be a pilot and preparing to follow procedures or follow instructions as to what to do in case something happens and something happened bad. This is pretty sad. Um, I love seeing Jamaican pilots because anytime I go to Jamaica and they say our pilot is Jamaican, it makes me feel very proud. And I sh I'm sure it makes other Jamaican um, that are on flights feel very proud also. Um, so condolence goes out to Mark Daniel Scott's family. This is a very hard pill to swallow, especially how he's 25 and he's just about to finish school and finish training. It's very, 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 very sad. The next one is the criminal burial site. It says police are now confirming that a total of five bodies were found at the plot of land located off Washington Boulevard, Kingston, in the vicinity of Sandy Gully on Tuesday. The police said investigators are acting on information went to the location they have now confirmed to be a site used by criminals to dump and bury several victims. Wow. The police said that during the search, two shallow graves were found. A search of the graves were carried out and five bodies were removed from the hollow holes found in the ground. One senior investigator told the news team that visited the location. The ages and gender of the victims were not disclosed up to press time. The discovery was confirmed by Assistant Commissioner of Police Fitz Bailey. Police said that based on what they have seen so far, they are set to continue the search on Wednesday. We suspect that this is an era where criminals use as a mass burial site, said one detective, as he joined his colleagues in combing the area. As the police carried out their operation, scores of curious onlookers gathered close by to get a glimpse of what was happening. The discovery has left the resident living close to that area in shock so everybody that was living in that area didn't know it was a mass burial site and they're shocked but there's a lot of land in jamaica so i believe that there is a lot of mass grave sites in jamaica that people dump people's body because there's no way thousands and thousands of women and children goes missing every single year in jamaica and they're not found alive at where their bodies probably at a mass dumping site but with this case i think they probably got a tip and somebody told them this information and i hope it's leading to jasmine dean's case because i'm really really hoping that we have a closure to that case it it's weighing very heavily on my mind as the days and weeks go by 
because I don't want to see her case get swept underneath the rug or people forget about her and her case so i hope this is leading up to that comment what your thoughts are do you think it's somebody giving them just a tip just to help them out or do you think this is going to lead to the and jasmine dean's body being found what do you think about jamaican pilots flying are you one of those people that are very proud when you're on a flight and it's a Jamaican pilot. Uh, what do you have to say to this man's family? I feel like these flights or these planes need to be checked more often. Too many people are dying from flights these days. And it's preventable because all they need to do is make sure that these planes are well equipped to do their jobs and there's a, there isn't any mechanical issues but that is the end of the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe leave your comments in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next one deuces